Hi everyone, I am Mandeep Kumar. In today's go topic, we are going to discuss hidden surface removal in computer graphics and animation. Okay. Let's continue. Hidden surface removal. So, what is hidden surface removal? Uh, this is what one cube. So, what you are seeing right now, this is white background. Okay. So, this face is wise, white it's not uh, others for surface are not visible to you what if if i'll tilt this one or i'll make this like this or i will make like this so you will see you can't able to see this surface behind me so this surface you cannot able to see so that is what hidden surface so what exactly we are going to do suppose the ca you are the camera and you are seeing this object and what happened you are going to see this surface okay and the surface behind you is not visible so in the computer graphics how a computer is going to detect this thing which uh, surface is hidden which is not hidden so what exactly we will do this surface is visible so hidden surface removal is also uh, named as uh, visible surface detection so we have to detect visible surface means your program has to detect visible surface okay you are able to see this white surface so this is uh, visible surface rest of the surface are not visible okay so this is what hidden surface removal uh, removal means the surface uh, these background surface are there we are not going to see those surface while we are going to project on the screen if you uh, if this we are going to project on the screen we are able to see this thing only so this is what hidden surface removal we are removing this hidden surfaces introduction what it's saying determine which surface are visible and which surface are not in the standard view okay so just now i i have explained with the cubic uh, rubik cube so which surface is detected now display all the visible surface do not display any occlude surface okay what is occluded surface like we are seeing this these are the surface which are occluded and you are able to see this wise white surface okay so occluded surface the surface which are hidden from the front uh, from the visible surface okay so that surfaces are called this surface is occluded this surface is occluded and back surface is also occluded okay so means these are the hidden surface they are hiding from the front surface that is algorithm classification two main types of classification is there okay so first object um, that is object space so what do you mean by object space determine which part of the objects are visible okay so we have to see which part of the object is visible resize do not require okay so means when we are going to project on the screen so resizing of this object is not required or uh, it may be difficult to determine or sometimes it may be difficult because uh, the projection size is um, we are going to project on a screen so sometimes we need to project this item on the screen when we are projecting this item on the screen so we have to resize so it is very difficult to determine the exact size of this object on the screen okay next is, uh, method is image space method so what is image space method uh, it also determine object which object is visible at the each pixel okay so at each pixel it will determine at we each pixel suppose if i'll consider this one pixel one okay so in pixel one pixel two pixel three pixel four so a particular pixel if it is your screen on a screen is divided in the pixel so suppose this is one pixel so we'll see what object is visible on this pixel okay so here we need to resize the object means we have to calculate means if your uh, object is too large so we have to resize so resize so that uh, uh, we have to fix it in the particular pixels or a set of set of pixels okay so resizing or recalculations of the object is required that is called image space 
whenever you are resizing the object it's come under image space now case for hidden surface removal okay so occlude surface uh, that is partially or full okay so partially or full what do you mean by partially or full you can see this triangle is there blue color triangle dark blue so what is this it is in front of that square and the is the portion uh, the behind the triangle is hidden by the this triangle so this is what visible portion okay so we can say this portion the uh, square portion is partially visible portion now again if i will keep this square in front of triangle so we can see that only few part of this triangle is visible okay the part which is behind the uh, square that is not visible okay what if if i'll completely keep this object behind the this square what it will happen that object is completely disappear so we cannot able to see that behind uh, the object behind this first object that is square now second one is back face back face means what we have to detect what are the back faces suppose uh, we can see this diagram what it means this one if you are uh, seeing from here you will see that this object is visible means we are seeing this from the front okay so from front we are able to see what exactly we are doing this blue dark blue is object behind the surface behind this object okay so what exactly i showed if it is my object and this is the surface which you are seeing the surfaces behind this is this one which you are not able to see okay so this is what surface okay which is occlude surface which you are seeing fully or partially you are seeing and another surface is back face back face means which you are not seeing the surface this is what back face okay so this is front face that is occluded surface this one is occluded surface which you are seeing okay hrs we are writing hrs as a short form of hidden surface removal so there are uh, um, few algorithms that is penters algorithms jet buffer algorithm and that is uh, this penter algorithm is ba based on object space algorithm means what what is the object size the penter is going to draw the same object we are not going to resize those object that is penter's algorithms in jet uh, jet buffer algorithm it is, is image space algorithm because we are keeping one buffer in buffer we are storing the values what is the value the object's position value we are going to store and those position values uh, will kept into a buffer and those buffer is a part of pixel in uh, view plane so view plane uh, in view plane one pixel is there so we are keeping like this so suppose in view plane this is our view plane view plane is consist of set of pixels so suppose this is one pixel okay so i will keep information of one object okay object one so this is what one jet buffer okay this is one simple example uh, jet buffer so means penter's algorithm okay is related to object space algorithm jet buffer algorithm is related to image space algorithm now other methods are scan line method algorithm and warnock's algorithm this is also called area subdivision algorithm algorithm whatever the algorithm we are going to study all will follow the same method okay so we are going to discuss this method 
okay what is this method this method says sort polygon polygon from back face to front face okay it means suppose this is one my cube so we have to sort from the back face back face first then we are coming back to front face means what if you are the user and you are watching this so the distance from the back face is more and this distance from the front uh, from the screen uh, the distance uh, from the screen to this uh, surface is less okay so it means uh, the distance of this visible surface is less so we are going to follow this sorting so we are sorting all the faces based on this depth okay so we have to follow this process second one is draw he sorted polygon polygon painting over the pixel of existing one. means what first we are sorting this back face then we have to draw this one again we are sorting next sorted pixel then next sorted pixel and again we will come to sorted this one so existing uh, this pixel is there we have sorted this one and we are going to draw this one first after drawing this painting this we are going to draw this one and then this one so what will happen it will over overcome the paint uh, other painted faces okay so this is what uh, like we are doing in painter's algorithm it will the same but we are uh, dealing with the pixels depth it require it requires sorting of polygon polygon at each rendering okay so what we have to do uh, whenever we are going to do this process we are going to apply this process for visible surface reason so it requires sorting for every rendering we are going to sort the polygon step 4 is we have to find the point from where we are going to sort means suppose we are going to sort this sur these surfaces so we have to find the point from where exactly we are which point we are taking for the sorting so for that case we used to take this center so since center is uh, we have to take for the sorting okay next fourth step is find the point to sort okay that point will be that point will be the center of center of polygon that will be center of polygon okay so it will uh, usually we are going to keep this point only center by default it will be center but we use to take this center as the uh, point to stop okay and Four step we have to follow. This four steps we have to follow in all the algorithm. First is jet buffer algorithm. Second one is scan line algorithm. Third one is area subdivision algorithm. So all these four steps we have to follow in every algorithm. Okay, the algorithms we are going to study is which is uh, based on this hidden surface algorithm that is jet buffer algorithm 
second one the scan line algorithm third one is area sub division algorithm okay so these three algorithms we are going to see in hidden surface uh, removal there are so many algorithms but these are the basic algorithm we have we are going to study in our next lecture okay so thank you everyone